Hey you guys, Beth out of here, and I'm back with another tutorial today. This one is inspired by The Dark Knight, aka Batman. Um, as you can see, it uses um, Batman colors, period, bottom line. <laughs> uh, it uses three new colors from Mad Styles, as well as one older one. And uh, I think you guys will either have several of these colors or something similar. So I will try to remember to put something like similar in the down bar below. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go tonight and see the Batman again. The Dark Knight Rises. I'm going with my friend Tim, who you guys have never met, so I won't even elaborate on that. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you guys like this one, and if you still haven't seen Batman, hopefully you will see it soon, and maybe even wear this, and then we could be twinsies, and that would be fun. <laughs> Alright, let's get started with the tutorial, guys. First thing we're going to do is take Optimus Primer and put this all over the lid. This is not a super liquidy primer, it's a little bit more on the creamy side. So you want to just deposit some, that's probably too much, <laughs> but just deposit some and then scoot it around with your finger. Um, I love this freaking primer, for the record. Totally vegan and it definitely holds up to the disgusting heat and humidity we've been having in Ohio. So, and <laughs> for those of you who live in dry, hot climates, can I just say I am freaking jealous because it has been miserable here. Um, if you want your glitter to be more pronounced and like crazier, go ahead and toss out some awesome sauce. Was that a logical sentence? But otherwise, just go ahead and jump into it. Um, we are starting off, very similar to the tutorial from yesterday, with this guy. And Otipose. I still don't know how to pronounce this, so one of you Doctor Who fans, feel free to tell me. And we're just getting some of this on the tip of the brush. And applying this just below the brow. Uh, we're starting off this way because later on when we add a dark color, we want to make sure we have that buffer already there in case you get too messy. And you guys know me. Sometimes I get a little messy. So, we have that. You can add some to the inner corner if you want. I didn't. And then we're taking this guy, which we saw yesterday too, and the color Mustard Danger, which I am in love with, especially because it's named after Moe's adorable freaking dog. And we are just taking this and packing the color all over the lid. So you can see it's a nice vibrant yellow. Uh, it's not neon by any means, but it's very, very vibrant. Oh, I just made a giant mess. Very, very vibrant, vibrant and easy to work with. I haven't put mascara on the other eye yet, if you're wondering why it looks weird. And then go ahead and start blending this upwards and create your eye shape. And that should be good for our yellow. You notice that although I brought it in the inner corner, it's not supposed to be over here. That's where I dropped it, so you don't want it there. Then we are taking a pencil brush. Um, so far I've used the Crown C407 and the Sedona Lace 941. And now we're taking the Sedona Lace pencil brush. It's called 904. Uh, and the color Mr. Roboto Glitter. It is a very silvery color. Make sure you tap off your extra. And this is going to go below the eye. Again, if you want this to be more vibrant, using something like Awesome Sauce or something, like some type of tacky base would help. Alright, then we are going to take the Sedona Lace 407 and the color All Nighter, which looks like this. And we are going to... Tap off your extra. Ah, I just threw a brush at myself. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to start depositing your black. This is more of a wing shape eye because it's for Batman. Down along the lash line to about the halfway point. And you're blending over from that outer V. Once 
once you have most of the pigment already off of your brush, feel free to flip it the other way and blend some over from the yellow. But don't do it too soon, otherwise it's going to end up way too dark in that inner corner. And then take it down below as well, just a little. Again, this is when all the pigment is already almost off of your brush. So your eyeshadow is going to look something like this. And then it's time to start with liner. Um, we will come back to a little bit of eyeshadow, but it's time to start with liner now. And I just use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil N0, and I put that on the lower lash line. And mine needs sharpened. And then on the waterline on top, you guys know I hate doing this. So that's going to be good enough. And then we're going to take our Ico Skinny Liner. And I kind of, if you look really closely, I messed up my wing a little bit. Um, I was just trying to make it longer and I messed it up a little, so. So I supported my eye because I do have hooded lids and they tend to droop and get in the way. Um, so I was not tugging, even if it did kind of look like I was tugging a little, I'm just supporting the eyelid. An attempt to keep my point. <laughs> um, and then we are going to take the brush that I threw at myself earlier, wherever it is now. And this is the Sedona Lace 561. It is a tiny little liner brush. We're going to take a little spot of Makeup Forever's Eye Seal. Um, you're going to see it in two different packages now. It's either going to say Eye Seal or Aqua Seal. It uh, just depends. Uh, they're the exact same product. They just recently switched over the packaging and name. And then we are going to take some of Mr. Roboto. Mix it with our Eye Seal. So let me get a nice silver liner. You could just use silver liner if you have it. And this is going to go below the eye. So you end up with something about like that. Um, and also if you need to, uh, this eye I didn't really need to, but I didn't, on the other one I did, you can go ahead and take that white color again and pop that right below the brow and blend it down. Alright, I'm just going to curl my lashes and throw on some mascara and come back. And that is going to be our completed look. I hope you guys like it. Um, it is just all kinds of lovely colors and yeah. You guys can of course use the same tutorial with any color other than the yellow. The yellow was just for the lovely Batman. Alright, bye guys.